How's it going everybody? It's your boy Sandy here. I'm a couple days late to talking about this, but in all honesty, it's just way too funny for me not to talk about. Now, I don't want to come across as someone that's just trying to milk the whole Pyrocynical situation for views. Far from it, actually. I honestly just kind of want this to finally just die down, in all honesty. I already made my piece on, you know, Turkey Tom and why he's just basically a complete mess inside and out, but I thought I might as well take... Uh, I thought I might as well at least talk about Keemstar's recent mental breakdown that he's had on Twitter, because you know, I mean, you know, recent in the sense that it happened a couple days ago, but it's still something that I find just genuinely hilarious to watch, because here's the thing about Keemstar, if you don't know much about him, he acts like this big man Reddit moderator, he acts like he's right 100% of the time, when in reality he's just basically this morally corrupt, absolute disgusting human being that genuinely, that genuinely probably should have had something happen to him, like, at least a good few years ago, but unfortunately, you know, despite the fact that he has literally done quite literally illegal things in the past, he still is able to thrive on the internet, and he's still able to, you know, do stuff like this, and he's still just able to basically just, you know, create garbage like this, so I thought I might as well take a look at the three videos that he posted on Twitter and just kind of, you know, just kind of do a little bit of a dissection of each of them and just kind of show you how far gone this man's mind has gone. Pyrocynical gets uh, accused of being a furry, gets accused of having, like, sexual, deviant, disgusting, like, roleplay, furry roleplay with a child, with a 15-year-old, right? He gets accused of this, and he uploads a video, acknowledges that this happened, it's all true, <laughs> he's into this disgusting sh**, and he did this with a 15-year-old that says he didn't know the person's age. He gets 412,000 likes, only 12,000 dislikes, okay? Turkey Tom suggests that Pyro did know the age. He, like, had a bunch of evidence that Pyro probably should have known the age of this person, right? So he makes, like, this Google document, right? And then he makes a video responding to Pyro Cynical saying that he didn't know the age. And he gets 49,000 dislikes and only 10,000 likes, not even 10,000 likes. Okay, so this person right here is having this furry sexual conversations with minors, but says he doesn't know the age. This person says, well, there is some evidence that he probably did know the age, and he gets all the hate. <laughs> what? <laughs> so stupid. Hey, I'm just gonna be honest here. I don't really understand the point that he's actually trying to make here. Like, at this point, he knows that the entire, you know, predator argument that he's been trying to use against Pyro for so long isn't really gonna work that well anymore. So he just constantly- you'll see this as a common pattern throughout the three videos I'm about to show you, or he just constantly rails in the fact that Pyro just did this furry roleplay kind of stuff, because that's really the only argument that he actually has, and even still is not really an argument to be had in the first place. Like, in all honesty, you know, the fact that Pyrocynical, like, released a video and showed that Turkey Tom's Google Doc had more holes in it than a block of Swiss cheese that was just shot out by the Heavy's minigun is honestly deserving of all the, uh, support that it's been getting. And Turkey Tom's response, well, I mean, all you really have to do is just refer to my rant video about him. Let's just simply put it this way, his entire response is just nothing but manipulation tactics, missing the point, and just basically making several non-points when he knows that his goose has been cooked, or I guess in this case it's his turkey has been cooked. Okay, I, I really... Okay, that, that was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. To all the people trying to respond to this tweet and convince me that somehow Turkey Tom suggesting that Pyro probably knew the age is worse than Pyro having furry sexual role play with a 15 year old. For all of you people, there is no argument you could possibly make that would make me think that you're intelligent. I look down on you <laughs> as a lower human. Like, you are not on the same level of intelligence. You are stupid. So, there's pretty much two huge issues with this entire thing. First off, obviously, the entire thing of him basically jacking off his ego by basically trying to claim, you know, intellectual superiority over everyone else, and, you know, him also basically stating that, you know, you know, anyone that's defending Pyrocynical, he, he quite literally says that there is no argument that they could make that could, that they could make that could change his mind, which is just a very terrible mindset to have in the first place. If you're already going in with the mentality that no one on the other side can change your mind, then you've already lost in the first place, in my personal opinion. I would like to make an apology. In the video up above this one, I said to all the people defending Pyro, I don't look at you as an equal human. I look at you as a lower human. I messed up. 
most of you defending Pyro don't even view yourself as humans. You view yourself as foxes and dogs and kittens and all different types of furries. Yeah, I mean, as expected from Kim's story, basically just decides to make the point that everyone defending Pyro Cynical is also a furry and also overly generalizes the entire community surrounding furries by basically stating that they always think that they're animals, in which I just hate to break it to you, buddy. That's not the entire base around it, but then again, this is Keemstar. There's really, as he had already said, there's really nothing that we can say that can ever get him to change his mind. He's just basically this brick wall that if you try and talk to him, he just more than likely won't even do anything about it. And if you decide to criticize him, he'll just curl up into a ball and cry. But anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. That's very well appreciated. Leave a comment down below what you thought about the video, which you want me to talk about next. And also subscribe if you're new and you want to see more content such as this. Um, and also go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll put the Twitter handle on screen in case you don't know what it is. Go ahead and follow me there if you want. And uh, anyways, guys, this has been Sandy. Have yourselves a nice day. Sort of, sort of say goodbye. See you again sometime. La da 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 da. Kono shunkan ga takara mono. Kimi tachi to atashi itsu made mo kyo mo ikite yokata. Maji yokata.